I've got big problems with the people who are running football and I'm not a big enough person for them to even bother listening to me. But I know the reasons I think the, the game's in trouble and, and you cannot have a Bosman ruling that they've got in a moment. That is the, the be all, the end, the start of it and the end of it all. Because for me, Man United have helped Wayne Rooney's career massively on and off the field. The manager, the club itself has invested in him. They bought him for massive amount of money as a young man. And they, they're helping him blossom into the player that he is. Um, and I will say he's one of the best centre forwards in, in the world. Unfortunately for his country, it doesn't always come off. And in big tournaments, he didn't play very well, but he's human being, he's allowed to do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, they bought him for 30 odd million. And he's going to be allowed to walk out of there if he stays and sees his contract out for nothing. And that's the game's fault. That's the people at the very top of the game's fault. Because our rules were brilliant. If he was offered the same amount of money again, they could hold his registration and someone would have to pay the fair amount of money for him. Um, if my car went over a certain age and I bought it off a garage I wouldn't expect that garage to be able to come and take it back off of my drive for nothing because I still own it I have proof of ownership just because you're 24 what on earth has that got to do with it you know it's just ludicrous and they have the power to change this straight away you know um that you can argue this, you can argue that, but football had it right in this country. Any player who was out of contract, who was still wanted by his club, had to be offered the same amount of money or more, and they held his con um, his contract and his rights. Someone else then bought him. Is it fair that Wayne Rooney walks out for nothing? No, it isn't. No, and it's ruining the game. Presumably you've got plenty of sympathy for Sir Alex then, given the fact that if he can't even persuade a player like, like Wayne Rooney to stay at Manchester United, it says a lot about the state of the game. Well, Wayne Rooney wouldn't stay at Manchester United, would he, if he didn't want to? But Man United would still get their fair amount of money for him. No one would be able to rob him or rob him. What if he sits there for 18 months, throws tantrums, don't try, don't play, and someone's already said to him, we'll take you and we'll pay you some of that money that we should have paid Man United because you can walk out on a free. What are we actually saying? as human beings. Is that right? Do you want to sign a person like that? Do you want to play for a club who says that to you? How do we know it hasn't happened? And the game is spoiling that. The game is wrong. The people in charge of the game are wrong. And I'm not calling them names. I'm just telling them they're wrong. They are so wrong, this is frightening. If Alex Ferguson is being bullied by a player and his agent or whatever how you want to call it, how wrong is the game? Yeah, and when are you going to listen to the people who are involved in the game? Do you understand? And they say about, oh, it's not fair on the player. Rubbish. The player's had his wages every week. Guaranteed, come rain or shine, whether he's injured or not. They bought him. They work with him. He belongs to them. You know, you buy a house, you own the deeds. It's paid for. If you're lucky enough to do that, it's yours. What if it's 24 years you had it for and, and then it can just toddle off and do what it likes? It's not right, is it? It's so obvious. It is so obvious, it is so wrong. And you can't change it. The world should change if it's wrong. And football should look at itself. It's wrong. FIFA, UEFA, whoever you are, you're wrong. We had it right. Ask it. Ask us how we were doing it. And that's what you should have copied with the Bosman rule. Mr. Bosman was held back. His contract ran out. They offered him half the money, yet they still asked more money than another club was going to pay for him. In our country, he'd have walked out for nothing. That's what they should have copied. Some complete person who isn't in the real world, in our realm, said, if you're 24, oh yeah, 24, you can go and be what you like and do what you like. Who is this person? How wrong is that? Sort your life out. That's all I'm saying. It might be a rant. It might be quite funny to watch it, but I feel passionately about this. I'm looking at Alex Ferguson. I'm looking at him thinking, what a magnificent manager. How can he handle this? 
how he feels about Man United, how proud he is of Man United, yet Mr Wayne Rooney can now, or his agent, can now manufacture a situation like this. That's what they're doing. Managers fall out with players. If you don't want to play for that manager, don't sign a four-year contract, a two-year contract, a three. Don't. Don't do it. That's your choice, but that's the commitment. Man United paid 30 million quid for it. Absolute nonsense.